Uh, been a friend of mine since I was 16, and you will note he kind of looks like Charlie McCarthy. And uh, we do call him Charlie. Charlie, good morning. What are you doing? Um, and why am I in a dress? Well, you're in a dress because I need you to do me a favor. First time in 10 years, and I'm in drag? Well, yeah, sorry about that. What do you need? I need someone to portray Representative Suzanne Cosmas because she refused to appear here and she won't call the program and we need someone to fill the role of a congressman. Hey, I'm good at that. My head's empty already. That's exactly right. <laughs> so we'll give you a good start. I've got a little bit of a costume for you. Yeah, I noticed. Not just the dress. Not just the dress. Since Suzanne Cosmas declined to appear on the show today, either in person or even by telephone, especially since we gave her a week and a day's more notice than she gave her constituents for her telephone town hall meeting. We thought we'd invite her in here. She chose not to appear, so we decided she'd be represented anyway. And now that I think he's ready and in costume, let me bring out my buddy Charlie as Suzanne Cosmas on a stick. Um, I can't see. What do you mean you can't see? I have no vision. Well, then you're perfect for Congress. Um, we're going to take your calls and comments for the representative as she is here and now. We're going to start, uh, by the way, this hour being brought to you by Solar Energy Systems of Brevard as we're at the Depot Cafe on Merritt Island. Let's go to the insider phone line, George, and talk to Lou in West Melbourne. Lou, good morning. Uh, let's see what she says about that. What's his name? His name is Lou. Lou, can I offer you some end-of-life counseling? I don't think she's interested, Lou. But I think we will be. Let's, uh, real briefly, go ahead and lay out the situation you're facing.